in the last years, the creativity to find new ways to destroy cars on BNG has been astonishing. Indeed, this game has the most accurate damage model thanks to the soft body physics, and it's a joy for your eyes to see these vehicles being killed in the most atrocious ways. But have you ever wondered if this simulation has something else to offer than only accidents? In this fourth video, I'm going to show you the potential of BNG, proving this simulation can give you tons of different modes and entertainment without crashing cars every time. So, let's start! So a semi-truck is causing havoc on the highway, we must stop at an old cost, uh, that won't be easy, but you don't have to worry about damaging uh, your vehicle. If you remember well, in my previous videos I made two pursuits already, one against a car and one against that, a van. This time I have to stop a big truck, yeah, I have a CUAV, but uh, it won't be easy. Okay, basically this big bad boy doesn't even feel my presence. <laughs> ah, my bad, I put the wrong gear. Stop ignoring me! Just stop your truck! Okay, now I'm angry. If I say stop, you stop! Ah, uh, see? With good manners you can fix everything. Moreover, I stopped him in less than one minute. But uh, now you have to throw away my car. <laughs> So, there is no time to explain, you must leave the area as quick as possible, reach the ferry boat at the dock. Hmm, I know that final jump won't be easy, but you know, this kind of stunt reminds me of Stuntman in PlayStation 2. That game was very hard, but uh, I loved it when, when I was a kid. Oh, why they gave me a front wheel drive car in for this kind of challenges? Moreover, these tires have no traction at all. I keep spinning every time in acceleration. I have to help myself with the handbrake in dead corners. Remember, I have to be quick or I'll fail the challenge. Ok, the radiator is dead, I hope the engine will resist until the end of the mission. Ah, I didn't expect that. <laughs> It wasn't too hard. The experience in the rally helped me a lot to be fast without crashing too much my car. But really, this car was a really bad choice for this kind of challenge. 
Okay, let's pass to the next mission. A technical time trial around Belasco City showcasing the Autobello Piccolina. Basically, this is the previous event, but uh, with more drama and finally a real wheel drive car. The only problem is this car lacks of power. Gotta push the harder as I can. I love these little old Italian cars. Tires lack so much of grip, the car needs a limited slip differential. It's so cute watching a little 50 horsepower car spinning like that. <laughs> I don't want to crash this little cute car. Okay, I bet my steering wheel I'm going to break something on that jump. oil pan is broken. In few moments my engine will starve of oil. No, I hate driving in reverse! Ah, maximum precision here! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> okay, the oil level is critical, but I think I should be able to finish the event. I mean, uh, I, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, nice. That that title translate. Um, I think I broke the game. <laughs> okay, in this challenge, I'll use a 1,100 horsepower truck. On its body, I load the weight uh, until it can't resist anymore. Before the test, I want to test the acceleration 0, 100 in stock condition to see how much is fast. almost 15 seconds to reach 100 km per hour. Not bad at all for a truck. But now comes the real challenge. I'm going to load this truck with wood planks. One pack of them weighs more than 2 tons, but basically like a rhino. <laughs> but it shouldn't be a problem for my truck. It's made to carry this kind of weight.
My truck weighs already 10 tons. To show you the influence of 2 more tons on it, I'm going to repeat the acceleration 0 100 km per hour. Almost 2 seconds lower. I thought my truck would have been way slower. I'm proud of my truck. <laughs> but let's stop making compliments. It's the moment to add two more tons. 4200 kilograms. It's basically the weight of two Porsche Cayennes. No problem for my truck. It pulls without any issue. But keep in mind, this isn't a challenge to test to see if my truck can pull massive loads of weight. Theoretically, it could even pull even uh, 140 tons. But uh, that's not the purpose of the test. The test consists in discovering how much weight it can load uh, before collapsing. Let's add uh, two tons more. We reach the same weight of a T-Rex. <laughs> But uh, probably my truck is lagging at me right now. No problem, let's add the same weight of an African elephant. It's still irrelevant for my truck. But uh, I'm curious to see if it will be relevant for the acceleration 0 100 km per hour. Almost 11 seconds lower compared to the acceleration with the empty truck. That's a lot. The rear door is open, but uh, my truck doesn't want to die. I know I'm a bad person, but uh, let's continue with the doctor. Almost 30 tons of load and over 40 tons combined. This truck is something to be very, very heavy. In fact, the weight is deforming the body in the chassis. I think I'm putting too much if I propose to reach 100 km per hour, but uh, let's see what happens. The 
The problem is there is too much weight concentrated in so little space. For that reason my truck is suffering. kilometers per hour. It would not be enough to go in the highway. <laughs> but uh, at this point you think it's time to stop torturing my this sport truck. Nope. My truck now waits in total more than 44 tons. That's the weight of 75 square meters house. <laughs> Considering the double tires on the rear, each wheel of my truck must support 4.4 tons. <laughs> I'm wondering why my tires haven't exploded yet. <laughs> Finally, my truck stopped suffering. Hope you liked this fourth video about VNG. If you missed my previous ones, check them in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.